Oh, uh, yes. Hmm. Right. What sort of parts might you have today for us? Um, I have ten manticore claws. I, I kind of put them out. I have a sack of them put on the table. I pull out the big rhino horn, and I pull out um, the two tentacles I got from the carrying crawler. I see. Uh, ten manticore claws in good condition, one rhino horn in all right condition, and two floppy bits. What did these come from? <laughs> Some sort of big worm. Mm. Yeah, you're crawler. I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Mm, you didn't do a very good job harvesting these, did you? Mm. Well, I can offer you for the whole lot eighty gold pieces. Uh, I mean, these are pretty good manacore claws. They certainly are, worth approximately four or five gold apiece. So, they're all worth a hundred together, right? No, you said there were ten of them. That would be fifty gold total. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Very good. And he sort of takes it and sort of shoves it all into a sack and hands you a bag of, of, of eighty gold. I was gonna say, did that eighty change to fifty? <laughs> Like, did I hear something wrong here? No, the 50 was specifically oh, for the manticore oh, class. Okay. He was including all about. this stuff. I gotcha. I was getting mm -hmm. confused. Alright, then I, I step back and let Norrin go up. Hey, how's it going? Um, so... And I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. The, uh, kind of fucked up rhino horn. Um, the boar pelt from way back when. The two kind of, at this point, almost desiccated boar eyes. Boar tusks. Yeah. One one manticore tooth. Which I'm just gonna put down on top. Single. And then just the sack of tentacles that I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not reaching into. Just the sack of them. Okay. So Sweet. I've had a pretty busy couple weeks. If you can I tell, can see um, that though these eyes and the pelts look a little older than a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, the um, eyes are from, uh, they're actually from a witch's stash. We, uh, we rescued them from I a see. evil witch. I don't really care. <laughs> in any case, um, well, considering the age of some of these pieces, what's in this sack and he opens it? <gasps> oh, these are really Before carry. you open that, oh, okay. yeah, the carry, you probably don't want to stick your face that close. I'm I'm quite aware of what they do. Don't worry, I've worked with these before, okay. and these are much better quality than your friends. Um, wow, rude. for the lot, I'll give you a hundred gold pieces. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what are we? What kind of what other kind of stuff would this shop sell? What would they sell? Potions or anything um, along those lines. Uh, potions, probably not, but maybe okay. it looks like there's some clothing and potentially magic mm -hmm. items. Um, you might also Ooh. be able to find, like, uh, you gather you might be able to find, like, poisons and other things that could be made from creatures, but not, like, potions, per se. <laughs> now, when you say magic items, what kind you of magic ask. Anything suitable for so, me? hey... Those yes. things up there on the wall, um, which I assume mm -hmm. are the nice things, what exactly are the, uh, those? Ah, I guess well, exactly behind me, see well, I'm having well, some vision issues. Ah, yes, of course. We have uh, currently on display, there is a serpentine belt, as well as uh, this here is a pelt ma uh, coat made from the hide of a of a periton feathers, actually. Um, gives you uh, some small additional uh, magical features to wearing it um, as well as uh, we have some boots here made from uh, I believe the made from uh, oh, I can't quite remember what it is suffice it to say they're nice um, someone else did the work on those unfortunately I don't remember what they were um, yes there's a few things such as that you interested in anything in particular um well, I'm interested in both the belt uh, and the parrot and feather cloak. What would you... How would you describe their extra feature? Because, I mean, uh, the I'm not... The belt is made from the scales. The, 
decoration. So, uh, yeah. The serpentine belt is made from the scales of a real snake and enchanted with the magic of a basilisk, actually. Um, which, it's reversed, it's very complicated, um, but suffice it to say that you know, it's able to turn into a snake when you desire it to. Um, okay. Additionally... Yes, exactly. And additionally, the uh, Periton Feather Cloak um, grants you some ability of, um, let's say, the ability to defy gravity for a short amount of time, as well as some additional protection from from some some attacks. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. How much would you be willing to sell said Periton Cloak for? Uh, the Periton Cloak, generally speaking, an item such as that would likely go for... Give me a second to look at a thing. I should have had this out already. Actually, no, let me look at this other thing that I have. Uh, hold on. So your hesitation says 50 gold pieces. <laughs> Shut up, this is out of context hesitation. Out of character hesitation, you jerks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. Fucking hell. <laughs> ah. Sorry, this is taking ages to load. I apologize, you guys. I should have gotten this out earlier. I'm stupid. That means we can have, pri have price, right? Worth, I'm ex I'm, I'm uh, really yeah, totally. No, not at all. Internally, I'm expecting it to look like that. <laughs> wow. Look at that dude. Wow. As fucked up as possible. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> This I don't want to. Sunny. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, sorry. That's not what it was. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Let me see here. I was hoping to just be able to yell, car. <laughs> yeah, it very much does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Um, okay. Oh, shit. Anyway, so I found the thing. The thing was it. Um, a cloak such as this, you're likely to find for, uh, typically sells for approximately 4,500 gold. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Welcome to the port <laughs> of <Yeah. now. laughs> If one was to lease it with intent to own, what kind of terms and insure interest rates would we be talking here? Hmm. I've never had this proposed to me quite before. Let me think. So you're looking to wear the cloak without paying for it fully with the intent of coming back to continue paying for it somehow? Yes, long-term paying. How can I keep your word that you'll continue returning? People like such as this don't often come back more than once. They tend to take, buy their items, and go adventuring, as it were, and not come back oh, what is that? for one reason or another. That is quite a reasonable fear. Um, however, I, you haven't actually met me. I, I'm Norm Goldleaf. Um, it's nice to meet you. Among other my name things. Is... Sorry. My name is Grex. It is nice to meet you, Grex. Um, Cousin Grex? No. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you haven't met me. I, you, I understand you have no reason to want to trust me. That's However, definitely correct. Yes, that's the I. I'm that's kind of the situ situation right now. Lay uh, away. That's what I was thinking. That's the word. Thank you. So, <laughs> what is that where you pay and pay and pay until you can? What I'm thinking. Yeah, but he wants is, to get the uh, I've got some things that, if you can't tell, I've got some stuff that I'm pretty attached to, namely this hat. I'm going to point to like the orange top hat. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had this thing for quite some time since our... Yeah, it was a really... That was a really important day. 
Uh, since our um, sort of celebration in the city of Corellendil, where we were, well, honored for breaking up a criminal syndicate, I'm That's willing nice. to leave this as collateral. This and, hat has no value to me, and how do I know that it has any value to you? Continue. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do something here. Please don't jump. I'm going to manifest respite. Now, this is the other thing that I was going to say. Not threatening. Don't look. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Chill. His eyebrows are raised very high. I know. <laughs> I know what this looks like. My name is Norman Goldleaf. I am a representative of Abera, the Angel of Kindness. Gave me this magical sword as a symbol of my station as a representative of the Angel of Kindness. Look at it. Feel it. And I'll hand it, hold it up for him to take, take a weight of and like bounce it around. Now, this was given to me because I am I'm working to create a new life for myself as well as many, many others. I am here as a representative persuasion. of kindness. Roll persuasion with advantage. Um, as he grasps the hilt of the sword, he does, he smells that, he, it's clearly magical and seems good. It's warm and smells vaguely of fire. Also cinnamon. And, and cinnamon, sure. Um, so if I was to hmm. give you this and then promise <laughs> to bring you back as many jewels as I can find over the next, like, year which I promise you is going to be quite a quite quite a lot. Um not like we're going tomb robbing or anything, mostly just we kind of get into get ourselves into situations where people like to honor us with things. <laughs> uh this medal of Corel Lariathan, by the way, this was given to uh, each of us um on behalf of the guard of Corelando. Uh, he's got one too, we're gonna point over his arm. Uh, we were all given them as part of our honor. Uh, again, this is part of us trying to create better. What do you think? I'm interested. <laughs> I'll need a down payment at the very least. How does 500 gold sound? 500 gold and the pieces the uh, parts that you've shown me. And we'll okay. say that you'll owe 3,000 more. That with seems interest. reasonable. That seems reasonable with the interest. Um, and I'm going to turn around to Zarn. Zarn! Yes! I need, like, I need to borrow, like, 100 gold. I don't have 100 gold. <laughs> Shit. Three? <laughs> Technically, Zarn does have that much, but that yeah, was given to him from Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> to buy oh, the yeah. armor for that was for no that was for that was for the armor. Mm -hmm. That's no, why I he for, gave him. I forgot you even gave me oh. some. Oh okay. I'll forgive you, you the me? light two hundred. If you give me a hundred gold, and I will pay you back. Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> I was just gonna. I was just gonna that. <laughs> oh, come on! I don't even think Tuesday exists in this universe. You have so good many thing. magical Tuesday. items already, but I'll give you a hundred. Well, I'll lend you a hundred gold. Maybe we'll have some sort of interest brings. plan on this. That seems fair. I'm just gonna turn around with the money. Just put the money. How much interest do I charge the group for holding my gold? <laughs> I'm I'm broke. Okay, so he takes the 500 gold and all of the animal parts you live out in front of him and presents you with one periton feather cloak. Excellent. And sorry, his name is... Very squeaky cloak. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, his name is Grix? We'll call it WD4. Uh, yes, his name is Grix. I'm writing down an IOU on my character sheet. 